Come watch, Cassidy. You don't need your brother while you're this time. Okay. Which angle? Just, just like point and look at her. She is so excited. Ready? Are you guys doing stand up, sit down? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we stand up, sit down, stand up, get a cover. Show her, cover me. So we have to take a bath. That is so adorable. Up. She was up. One more time, one more time. Okay, last time. You ready? I think mommy's got her wiggles out. Did you guys get your wiggles out? Cassidy, did you get your wiggles out? I'm gonna do it. Keep doing it. I love your laugh, buddy. You have a good laugh. Ready? So we sit Ever. <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine. Have you guys laughed today or recently? And also, on that same note, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Uh, uh, uh. All right, now let's get it's our little dark brakes out. <laughs> Mommy loves that haircut so much, don't you? Your haircut? I have it's the my best. Uh, what I did have you my do? Hair. It's party in the front. It's just, it's long. It's great. No. It's the back. The back. Make yourself a bald. Kinsley, show the back. Isn't that nice? Right, right here. He just he just shaved it all off. Oh did oh yeah, wow, that really does go up there. It's really good. <laughs> it's so good. We really gotta let it grow in. Well, I wear a lot of hats, but I mean that's really nice. That's well that's really up there. Okay, Kinsley, do you wanna start with math or language arts? Language arts. Grab your language arts. What's and that? school commence. Good morning, friends. Oh. Today is a huge day. Today's a little bit of a later start. We started school, we are taking a break. We are going to be doing some lunch. If you guys missed it, I did my first video on my channel in nine months. It was just my basic everyday makeup routine. I'll leave the link down in the description below. I really don't do a whole lot. I pretty much only put makeup on like maybe a few days a week. Today is a very special day. We, it's very easy to not think this way and to kind of forget a little bit, but our family has been separated in a sense. Our embryos were in California for the last year and a half while we were not and it is time for all of us to be in one state. They ventured out yesterday, and it is supposed to take a day to get here. I'm going to call them, message them, make sure that the arrival is today. Sometimes it can take up to two days, but their tanks that keep the embryo safe, the cold tank of some kind, it will keep the embryo completely safe during this whole transport, but crazy, big day. I've been really missing being pregnant over the last month. It's totally crazy. Like I could see if we did not do IVF and we just were like, hey, let's start trying. I feel like we would start talking about trying again, but 
we know it takes a really long time, so we have to think ahead. I have a massive cold sore that is coming in and I'm sharing some of my tricks on Instagram. This super lysine is a must. This has been saving me. What are you doing there? I was just telling you about my cold sore. Oh, the one you have so you can't kiss me now? No, yeah, no kisses for a couple weeks. Do you know what you can do right now? Mm -hmm. Come and eat my delicious lunch. Done. How about just foundation and blush today? How does that sound? Why would I think of getting pregnant? It has been so many months of not sleeping. How about right there and right there? Do you think we can make us look a little less tired if I just get the black circles to go away? What do we think? Oh, tired, tired. Oh, that worked. Hello. Jumpy. <laughs> Hi. Jumpy, jumpy. Okay, I just emailed our contact person and just checking in to see how the embryos are doing. Left California yesterday, getting to Tennessee today, just checking in to see how everything's going and if it is on schedule, all the things. Good morning. Who's gonna smile for his me or you? Who's gonna smile for his me or you? Good morning. Yeah. Friends. Should we offer him coffee again? We always try to feed it, these guys. Oh, wow. What? Pour concrete in the foundation of our basement. Is this interesting, girls? Yeah. As they pour concrete, we will be able to start the actual building. They'll start putting up all the walls. And this project will just happen so fast. See how they start early. This this is an early morning. Good morning, friends. So yesterday, I was waiting for an email back and I stopped peeking at my phone. We had a little bit of a chaos. Plants came into the kitchen. Dehumidifier has been the best investment since moving into the RV because we use it all the time. Because I'm flawed. I'm a flawed human being <laughs> and did not realize that one of my trays on the bottom must have had a leak in it. I couldn't figure out why does this particular cabbage, I think it was, why did it need so much water? I felt like I was watering it, watering it. Oh, use your brain, Alex. Yoo-hoo. Um, if you have to keep watering something and the other plants maybe don't need as much, maybe there's a hole. Anyways, yesterday we found that the one right here was leaking back, went down the back, all the way down here, and then was making a puddle by the baseboard. So we pulled everything out to use the dehumidifier because obviously a dehumidifier and plants aren't gonna go hand in hand. I would suck them dry. So we decided no grow lights for about 12 hours. Dehumidifier, it seems like it soaked up most of the water. Now moving it. Back to the bedroom. Philip is outside getting more maple sip, maple sap. If you guys missed that vlog, we have been making our own maple syrup. It is phenomenal. It is a heck of a ton of work. So when we complain of how much it costs for a big, huge gallon of syrup, I understand. I feel like it's worth five times that amount. How cool is it that we could possibly learn and make our own sweetener on our property? Okay, also side note, I know that I planted all of these a month early. I did not stick to the rules of when to plant these. Partly it was an experiment, partly I just didn't wanna wait, partly I follow friends that are a little bit south of us. Their frost date is like three weeks before ours and so it got me excited to just start. 
but this is gonna be an experiment. I'm still gonna plant them, transplant them, but from here on out, I am going to be sticking to our actual schedule. So for right now, we are gonna be planting onions and celery. In a couple of weeks, we'll pretty much be taking all of the things I've already planted and plant another round. It is evening time, so therefore we are saying goodnight to our plants. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna say goodnight. Can you tell them why you gotta rough them up? Can you explain that whole thing? I thought that was really funny. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. So. I told them, okay, so come in. I said touch them all, rough them up. Get It makes them have a thicker stalk. It makes them have um thicker, what do you call that? What's in the middle? What's that called? I'm brain farting, whatever this stem. is called, stem. Oh my gosh, I keep calling stem. it a stalk, a stem, thank you. So I mean stalks. So it thickens the stem, but I told you guys earlier today, everything is planted early except for the celery, but unfortunately, I don't think I had the fan going soon enough, because it looks like we've got some, the white on top. Can you guys tell me if that is possibly mold, or if maybe by any chance it could be something else? Um, nothing like, else has it. Yeah. It's just like Was if you look, stuff that you that's like the regular it? soil. But it's, I, I made a humidity dome for the celery because yeah. it helps it. It's the first time we had germination with celery. But um, we got the email that our embryos have, have arrived. arrived. Crazy. So Philip's parents mm -hmm. have moved to Tennessee. Yes. My parents do not live here but they have lived here for almost a year yes but they are going home soon to mm -hmm. california mm -hmm. and now our embryos who were in california mm -hmm. are now in tennessee yes and our families our families finally oh all together yeah it'll be a very interesting year yeah a very exciting very interesting very very busy year yeah we're excited and busy in the homesteading yes but um and i'm trying to just keep it to myself because i think philip doesn't want to hear this um but i'm missing i miss being pregnant i i love growing our family but i would love yeah. to sleep through the night too so obviously yeah we're on the same page as that but it's just crazy the email said that they the embryos arrived mm -hmm. and they are um well i envisioned them tucked in safe and sound but mm -hmm. they're they're stored they're stored here yeah so it's so beautiful and it's so amazing. It's also so such a challenging process. And so if you guys are in there in that season of life, infertility or, mm -hmm. you know, it's just, um, it's very difficult. Um, we have a lot of things to, to share with you guys in the coming parts of this year that are really exciting you know, with regard to infertility and some of the ministry stuff that we're doing. So, but we love you guys. We're, we're so thankful for you. Thank you for being on this journey with us. And um, thank you for allowing us to pour into your life and give you joy and to be an encouragement to you. I'm just drawing one example from these plants. Sometimes when you get roughed up a bit, it makes you stronger. These little, these little plants, these little, little buds are resilient. And we got roughed up a bit, a lot, in the early parts of our marriage, in the early parts of our infertility journey. But it really made us, it made us so resilient. Like, it made us better. It made us stronger. It made us... Um, be able to like withstand things that yeah. we didn't before and that's the process of life that's the process of marriage that's the process of being human is 
you have conflict and conflict has a resolution and the best that you can handle with that, the stronger you will be. And these plants are a testament to that and our marriage is a testament to that and our family is a testament to that. And maybe you are too and we'd love for you to share that with us on social media since you don't have comments below. But um, just want to always be there to encourage. I'm just excited that you guys are here with us in this journey. And for those that have been here for a very, very, very long time, when we get back on the road, we can't wait to hug you, pray with you, love you, and continue encouraging you guys. Do you have anything else to say? Mm -mm. You get the final word. Good night, everybody. We'll see you in our next vlog. Go let your love multiply. Bye. So just